I'm Anup Patel. I'm an associate professor of neurology and pediatrics at Nationwide Children's Hospital and Ohio State University. And I'm here today to talk to you about our study on cannabidiol for Lennox-Gastaut syndrome. What we did was we, took, we did a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial of patients between the ages of two years and 55 years that had a clinical diagnosis of Lennox-Gastaut syndrome and were on at least one or more anti-seizure medications. We stratified them in different arms. So we did a 20 milligram per kilogram per day dosing, a 10 milligram per kilogram per day dosing, and then a placebo arm, and they were randomized to one of those three. What we found was patients in the 20 milligram per kilogram per day arm had a 47% median seizure reduction, and in the 10 milligram per kilogram per day arm had a 37% uh, median seizure reduction. And that compares to 17% reduction seen in the placebo. And when you compare that to placebo in both arms, they were statistically significant. Our secondary findings was what we call the responder rate. So what percentage of patients achieved at least a 50% or more reduction of their seizures? Again, in the 20 milligram per kilogram per day arm, we saw a 40% of the population had at least 50% or more reduction. And in the um, 10 milligram per kilogram per day, that was like 34% compared to 15% in the placebo. And again, showed statistically significant differences. The other part we wanted to look at was safety. And so when you look at treatment emergent adverse events, over 90% of patients who are on the 20 milligram per kilogram per day arm reported at least one. Over 80% was seen in the ones in the 10 milligram per kilogram per day. But as compared to other studies with Lennox-Gastaut syndrome, there's a high reportability in the placebo uh, arm as well. And we saw over 70% of patients in the placebo arm at least reporting one treatment emergent adverse event. And the most common uh, findings in reported in over 10% of the population were tiredness, um, decreased appetite, and diarrhea. So overall, we felt their conclusion supported that this medication in both the 20 milligram and 10 milligram per kilogram per day showed benefit, statistically significant benefit in the reduction of drop seizures as compared to placebo, and it was very well tolerated and relatively safe. And this study had the two different treatment arms. The previous study for Lennox-Gastaut had one treatment arm pl in placebo, and this one is unique in the sense that we did a low dose, or 10 milligram per kilogram per day dosing, and then the, you know, the dose that's been used in other studies, the 20 milligram per kilogram per day dosing, as it compares to placebo. We also looked at the secondary outcomes of responder rate and um, an, an overall quality of life questionnaire called the CGIC. And we saw, again, statistically significant improvement in those that got the medicine compared to placebo in those reportability scales. And so the, the company Greenwich is hopefully going to submit an application to the FDA for a new drug application. Um, we in the scientific community are hopeful that day will come sooner than later, but they are anticipating to do that before the year's end. Uh, and then that will allow us to potentially get an FDA approved product to be able to treat future patients not included in the study with Lennox-Gastaut syndrome.